sometimes I get nervous. Try and maximize the time you guys have, because sure, yeah. no, yeah. nobody has enough time. Song. We're gonna play Never Again, and then we're gonna play like three or four new songs. Talk about Wayne's record, trying out new songs, testing our songs out on you, so you're our special audience, something like that. Yeah, yeah, should be good. Okay. Uh, How's that? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go on the other way. We literally went from living in a one-bedroom apartment in Toronto and working away in a, a, a rehearsal space with no windows and then getting a call from Jimmy Ivey basically saying, I think that, that you have a, a hit record here and, and I want to fly down to New York and I want to hang out with you and I want to see you play. Today, I got a phone call from Jimmy Ivey and that was rad. Who's Jimmy Ivey? Jimmy Ivey uh, runs Interscope Records and he said he wanted to be a part of our record, which is pretty sick. We're gonna make it in January. We felt pretty on top of the world for a while and we had a lot of buzz and hype and all that. I'm sure every band thinks they have that at some point, just like we thought we did, I don't know. We're going to parties with Sydney Crawford, who I had a crush on since I was like 12 years old, and partying with Rihanna and the Pussycat Dolls, and, and we signed a record deal to Universal Records, um, a huge record deal, and, and we all felt like, you know, we were kind of getting rich here at, at a young age, and we're, we've got money now, we don't have to work jobs. The first time around, we relied on the label to like help shape our shape who we are kind of and, and we kind of gave them a lot of control because we were young and we were under that interpretation where well we got the record deal now they know what to do to make you huge people feel the need to give you advice and, and well maybe you should like sound a little bit more like this because that would really help with the radio we're trying to reproduce tracks to make them sound like something we totally didn't want it to sound like and we just got delayed and delayed and delayed to the point that we said we're out we took it pretty hard um like it it, it definitely was not expected Rather than just like jumping to another label, we kind of took it as an opportunity to like get our shit together more so and make a tighter record. And it's hard to tell people that have invested in you that uh, you don't want their opinion and that you're not going to listen to it while you make this record. But I, d I don't think we would be able to go back to the way we worked on our first record. We've got one shot here. We have a certain amount of resources that we can make this 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 painting with and if we mess this up and, it, and it's not beautiful at the end of the day then I mean you know we're the kid that said leave me alone and and, and don't don't come look what I'm doing and then we're gonna turn in something that's garbage it's like that would just be the worst case scenario You guys sure you want to fucking do this? You fucking psycho? Yeah, no. No, we're gonna do it anyway. We've come this far. Just you read this life all signed all away. So much. Yeah. Sign your sign in. Just, I'm centering myself right now. I'm just gonna send right out. It's gonna be great. Um, I'm not zen at all. I feel like I'm shit in my pants. <laughs> Has anyone ever <laughs> shat themselves doing this? Have you ever had like. Could have been done. Right. One drop. <laughs> Jump off. Jump? Jump out. Alright. Come on. You can do it, man.